Simple AI revolution videos are exploding right now, and you can start a channel this week that hits a million views in two months without ever showing your face. You probably think you need pro editing, a studio, or years of experience. You don't. That outdated belief is why 99% of people fail before they even hit upload. One channel I tracked, just 2,000 subscribers, landed over 1 million views in 60 days. Another hit 616,000 views on their first video and grew to 12,000 subscribers just by mixing shorts and long form the right way. Today, I'm giving you the exact system. I'll show you how to make both long form and short form videos using just your phone or laptop. Automate this into a full time channel. The end. The fifth step is what makes this completely effortless. All right, the next step is creating the video itself. And for that, we need the perfect prompt. So I've added a Google Docs link in the description. Click that link and simply copy the entire prompt. Copy it exactly as it is. Don't change anything. Don't skip anything. Once you have that prompt, go to ChatGPT and paste it in fully. Then click the Generate button. ChatGPT will ask you two things. What topic should I make the video about? How long should the video be? So for the topic, you can either pick any trending topic from YouTube or ask ChatGPT to give you ideas in your niche. For example, you can go to any AI revolution channel, look at their best videos and choose a topic like how cars were made versus how cars will be in 2025. Anything in this style works perfectly for the niche. So here's how this works. Let's say you found a popular video in your niche. For example, a video with 600,000 views. You take that topic, copy it, and paste it into ChatGPT along with the main prompt from the Google Docs. After pasting the master prompt, ChatGPT will ask you, how many minutes should the video be? This is where you simply type the duration, like three minutes, five minutes, or 10 minutes. Based on the duration you choose, ChatGPT will generate a set of 10 prompts for you. These prompts will guide the AI to create the perfect script for that exact video length. For example, if you say you want a three minute video, ChatGPT will give you 23 prompts, one to 10, which are all optimized for a three minute script. If you need more prompts, or if you want to make a longer video, like 10 minutes or 15 minutes, ChatGPT will give you additional prompts too. So if you want prompts 11 to 20, simply type generate prompts 11 to 20 inside the prompt box. Once you enter the command into ChatGPT within a few seconds, it will generate the next 10 prompts for you. Use those prompts to make your adjustments, but make sure you do one thing. Don't change the structure of the prompts. Keep every prompt exactly as it is because if you modify them too much, ChatGPT may break the format or start giving messy results. This master prompt is already professionally formatted, clean, and optimized. For example, I selected a three-minute video, and as you can see, ChatGPT generated the exact prompts I needed. Using these 23 prompts, we can now create a complete video script with perfect structure, pacing, and storytelling. And using these prompts, we can now create the full video. Now, there are so many AI video tools available today. Sora 2, VO3, and many more new models, but if you want consistency, I highly recommend using VO3. VO3 gives stable results, better motion, and smoother transitions, which is exactly what we need for this kind of YouTube automation content. I've added the link in the description below. You can check the pricing for VO3, and you can get it directly from the official website. To access VO3, here's what you need to do. Go to flow.lab.google.com Click on Create with Flow, sign up or log in, and you'll see an interface exactly like this. Once you log in, click on New Project. You'll see an interface that looks like this. We are going to generate our video directly from the prompts. So first, paste your full prompt inside the prompt box. After that, click on the Settings button. Here, you'll set everything correctly before generating the video. If you want a shorts video, select 916. If you want a long-form YouTube video, select 16 by 9. Choose the aspect ratio first. This is very important. Next, select how many video outputs you want. I usually choose two outputs, so I can pick the best version. Now pay attention. Different models cost different credits. Model 1 uses 10 credits. Model 2 uses 100 credits, but we don't want to waste credits. So always choose VO 3.1. Fast model, zero credits. As you can see, this model uses zero credits, which means you can generate videos for free. 
After all settings are correct, click on the Generate button. Your video will start processing and within 30 to 40 seconds, it will be ready. You will get two results. Okay, now we'll generate the full video scene by scene using the prompts ChatGPT gave us. Follow exactly like this. Open the video you just generated. You'll see it in the top corner. You can see Add to Scene Click on that and you'll see an interface exactly like this. Under the preview, click the plus plus icon to add a new scene. Click expand on the new scene so you can edit it. You'll see an interface where you can paste the next prompt. Go to ChatGPT, copy prompt two, the next prompt from the 23 ChatGPT generated prompts, and paste it into the prompt box for this new scene. Open settings for that scene. Keep the same aspect ratio you used for the project. 9 to 16 for shorts, 16 to 9 for long form. Set number of outputs to 1 for scene by scene generation. You only need one best output per scene. Keep the same model. Use VO 3.1. Fast to avoid credits if you used it for the first scene. Hit generate. VO will create the second scene based on prompt 2. This usually finishes in a few seconds. Repeat this process for each prompt. Add a new scene plus expand paste prompt three, same settings, generate. Do this for all prompts, prompt one, prompt two, prompt three. After you've generated all scenes, if a scene looks off, regenerate that single scene using the same prompt. So now you just repeat the same process for all the prompts ChatGPT gave you. Every time you wanna generate the next scene, go back to flow.lab.google.com, click the expand button on the timeline, paste the next prompt, and generate the next clip. Do this for every single prompt, one by one. As you can see, I've now generated all my scenes. The total video has come out to 2 minutes and 43 seconds, which is exactly what we expected because I asked ChatGPT for a 3-minute video. So every prompt we used is now converted into a scene, and the full video is ready. If you ever want to create a longer video like 5 minutes, eight minutes, or even 10 minutes, you just have to tell ChatGPT the duration. ChatGPT will automatically give you the correct number of prompts for that length. Once all your scenes are generated, you will see a download button. Click that and VO will automatically stitch all your scenes into one single file. Your full video, every scene perfectly combined, will download as one complete MP4 file, ready to edit or upload. Now, if you want to take your video to the next level, you can add a professional AI voiceover. Here's how to generate it. Go back to the same ChatGPT conversation where you got your prompts. Now, simply tell ChatGPT, give me the complete voiceover script for all the prompts. ChatGPT will instantly convert all your prompts into one clean, ready-to-record script. To generate the voiceover, I recommend using 11 Labs. I've added the link in the description. If you sign up through that link, you get 10,000 free credits, which is more than enough to generate multiple videos. Once you sign up and log in, go to the text-to-speech section. Here's what to do. Paste your entire script into the text box. Go to the voice section. Choose any voice you like, the male, female, natural, emotional, anything. Preview the voice until it sounds perfect. Click Generate. Within a few seconds, your full voiceover will be ready. Now, simply hit the download button. Your voiceover will be saved as an audio file and you can use this for your final video. All right, now it's time for the final step, video editing. This is where we turn your raw AI-generated clips into a clean, good-looking final video. Open CapCut on your phone or laptop, click New Project and import the full video you downloaded from flow.lab.google.com. Place the video onto the main timeline and adjust the clip so it fits perfectly. Now import the voiceover file you generated from 11 Labs. Drag it onto the audio track below your video. Sync the voiceover with your video. Since your script is based on the exact prompts used to generate the scenes, everything should match very easily. Now adjust your video according to the voiceover. Trim scenes. Adjust timing. Match transitions to the narration. Because this is a storyboard-based video, your visuals and voiceover should line up naturally. CapCut has amazing tools you can use for free. Auto captions, motion effects, smooth transitions, camera shake, zoom in or out color, grading filters. Use these to make your video more engaging, but don't overdo it. 
clean and simple always performs best for AI revolution videos. Once everything looks good, click the export button. Choose the highest quality available, ideally 1080p or higher. Your final video will now be saved to your device. And that's it. Your video is ready. Thank you for watching this breakdown. Make sure to like the video, comment, and subscribe for more tutorials like this. Now let's preview the final video result. From wooden minecarts to light speed photonic rails, this is the 500 year journey of how trains reshaped our world and what the future of transportation may look like. Now approaching Central Station. Please stand clear of the closing doors.